Devlin DeFrancesco is our guest uh, from our friends in Canada. Toronto, good to see you, sir. How you feeling? Thanks for having me. Great to be here. Well, you're looking great. Uh, we are doing an uh, uh, informal survey. It seems more drivers have blue eyes. Yes. I mean, the track, they keep track of everything here. That's the one thing I've never seen before. I can't wait to see your, your research project on this. I mean, am I correct in saying everybody, Absolutely. two of these guys, has yep. had blue eyes? Yep. I think mine are bluish green. They do change. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. They change. I can see. They're like not a hybrid. Not, they're hybrid, yeah. yeah that's well, true. For the sake of my argument, let's... <laughs> Half in, half out. Just, just go with how correct I am. That's the way I like to do this. That's right. Yes, always right. Uh, well, good seeing you. Uh, uh, great to have you here. Tell us about your mindset for the 107th running of the Indianapolis 500. We're excited. We're pumped. Uh, obviously, you know, qualifying didn't maybe go as uh, as we hoped, but we got strong race cars. We, we seem to be quite good in traffic. We seem to be able to, to hit good fuel mileage. Uh, mm. so, you know, yeah. it's all to play for next week. You know, a lot of things can happen. It's 500 miles, 200 laps. So, you know, as long as you're there at the end fighting, you know, anything can happen. And it looks like great weather. Right now, the forecast, there is oh, yeah. like a 0% chance of rain, which that. that takes a lot of anxiety away. Sure. At, least, at least you know that it's, it's coming around the corner. Do they keep, they keep you busy these few days before the race? Do they have a lot to do? For sure. We, had, uh, we, vis- uh, we visited the porch party uh, yesterday, the Indianapolis porch party nice. uh, winners, which is amazing seeing the, some of the decor that, that they were doing up front of their houses and, and various media commitments that we've had to, to do. But all enjoyable, all part of the, all part of the month of May, and just love to, to soak in every bit of it. How many have you done now? How many 500s? This is my second one. Second one. Does he, so, do, like, is it a little easier now that not like, kind of understanding going through it one time, or is it still kind of nerve wracking? Yes and no. Uh, for sure, the goalposts move, right? There are different yeah. things each year you come looking for different things and, yeah. and different problems to attack uh, on the car. But, yeah. uh, but also, like, just the, the, besides the race, the actual pomp and circumstance of it all, like, is that overwhelming at times? I mean, are you, do you like that part, or is that like, oh my gosh, we have to do another? thing because there's a lot you guys all month long you guys are going right i enjoy it all yeah. i enjoy all of it you That's know it, i feel blessed to be here i feel i feel uh, very grateful to to be here and take part not only to be one of these competing being able to to fight and uh to fight forward and maybe you know fight for a win Heck yeah. um but you know to have such a great team behind me i just feel very grateful growing up who was your favorite canadian racer there have been a few right yeah there have been yeah. a few one of them got robbed of a win here Oh, that's right. We talked about that. Okay. Old Townsend. You know, Paul, Tr- Paul Tracy's always been, uh, you know, someone I. Yeah, he sure. got. I met him when I was very young. When I was. He uh, got screwed. Yeah, when I. When <laughs> I, I saw the him, film. Yeah. I met him when I was quite young. Oh, you know, yeah. Jacques Villeneuve. You know. Oh, to sure. To go win in his rookie year yeah. and to see what he went on and, and did in Formula One. There were various guys to, to yeah. look up to as I was growing up. See, I feel like I could play Paul Tracy now. <laughs> yeah, like for sure. We're talking about one of the things we've been asking is, as an actor, I, I'm always interested in like, okay, who do you think would play you in the movie about your life? Have you thought about that before? No, never. I've been asked before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd like to say Tom Cruise. Yeah, sure. I'll it seems it. to be a popular answer. Yeah, I, I mean, I'd absolutely. Like to say Tom Cruise. Yeah, yeah. That's it. You can. You get to oh, say. I hope it. I look like that at yeah. sixty. Yeah, absolutely. I was thinking Canadian John Candy's out. <laughs> <laughs> well. A little too big. Ryan Reynolds, maybe? Deceased. Ryan Reynolds? Yeah. There you go. Canadian? Could be. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Could be. Absolutely. Could be. Lastly, uh, last, do you have any particular rituals you go through the morning of or the, but the night before? Do you not eat? Do you eat a little tiny bit? Do you drink coffee? What do you do? You... Tim Hortons? Do you just binge Tim Bits? Come on. What's your favorite Tim Hortons? This is important. The Tim Bits? No. What's your favorite flavor like of, of the donuts at Tim Hortons? Boston you... Cream. Boston Cream. Boston Good Green. answer. Let's go. That's the correct answer, ladies and gentlemen. There is only one right there answer. There is only one right they answer. They would have judged me if I didn't answer correctly. We asked the tough questions here in the bottom top show. Yep. Uh, hmm. What do you think? I think that uh, I think that that if you can get yourself a Boston cream before you race on Sunday, no, you're going to win. That might be a little heavy. I can't do that. <laughs> okay. That's how I would we're, do it. We're actually driving to we're driving to Muskoka after the race, so we might really? do, we might do a pit stop on nice. the way. Nice. There. there you go. All right. Depending That'll be on how victory. we do on Sunday. That'll be the victory, yeah. Boston Cream. Okay. Right. Excellent. Good okay. stuff. Okay, Devlin. Thank you so much for your time. Thank Good you. Stuff, buddy. Thanks for having me. Good Have a great stuff, race. Man.